in May, Chrysler reported a 30% increase in U.S. sales. That's from a year ago. Thanks in part to a revamped lineup of its Chrysler 300 and also its Jeep Grand Cherokee. Also, it's all-American classic, yes, the Dodge Charger. And Bloomberg News reporter Jason Harper, he had the difficult assignment of taking the SRT8 out for a spin. And he joins me now with more on the latest addition to Chrysler's lineup. Jason, thanks for coming in. All right, you didn't do this in the car. I did not do this no. in the okay. car. No, shoulder right. surgery. Right. So, right. I do. You're but getting I, better. will keep me off the racetrack for about a couple weeks for sure. So. Tell me about getting into the seat of the SRT8. Here's what's interesting is I get into different cars all the time. A couple years ago, getting to Chrysler products was not, you know, was not a thrill. I was not, you know, looking forward to getting the interior of, you know, like the Charger, the Challenger, um, the 300. These were cars that did not were not really prime time ready. You know, when Chrysler took the big nosedive, I certainly wasn't surprised. Um, a couple years on, post the Fiat coming together, what I realized is these are cars that are nice to get into. Suddenly, there's a systemic change within you know, the cars themselves. I get in and I think, this is not a bad place to be. So last week I did a you know, 500 mile road trip on Michigan roads in the Dodge Charger SR8T, which is the top of the line model. It's got the big Hemi engine in it. But more than that, you know, it's sort of a muscle car. You figure it's gonna be fast. You figure it's gonna have a great zero to 60 time. What really surprised me was it was comfortable. On a long road trip, it wasn't a bad place to be. Good seats, electronics that actually work, a navigation system that actually sends you to the right place. Um, and it's spending the time in those seats that you really learn that these are the things that are important. V8, five-speed manual transmission? This was an automatic. Now, okay. this is still a hang-up that Chrysler has. Their, their transmissions, their automatic transmissions are several generations behind. Right. They've just now started releasing eight-speed automatic transmissions, but a lot of the uh, 2012 models are still saddled with five-speed uh, automatics. They're clunky, they're not as good on gas, you know, so there's still this vestiges of, of problems that you can see, well, this is what used to sink, sink them, but they're bringing on, along this eight-speed, which, you know, makers like Lexus and Mercedes and Audi are all using. What does a fully loaded charger cost? The one I drove, which had just about everything on it, was about 48000 which is obviously high end. Um, but the nice thing is, you know, the, the sort of mid-level um, you can get into for about $32,000 will, will still be plenty fast, um, a little better on gas savings, and have enough luxuries in them, you know, where you don't feel like you're, you're being deprived of luxuries. They're comfortable. Um, and the fact is, you know, we're not going zero to 60 in 3.0 seconds every day. We don't need to go 150. Um, it's nice to be able to do those things um, in a muscle car, but what you really want is to be able to commute every day and not be miserable. Who's the competition that Chrysler is going after with this model? Well, I mean, certainly Ford, you know, Ford and Chevy, um, the Camaro has, the Chevy Camaro has just done amazingly for Chevy. Very popular. You know, and they are, they've just released their new ZL1, which is their very high-end level. The, the, uh, the car that I just drove, the SRT8, is the sort of, you know, the very powerful, adrenalized version. The uh, ZL1 Camaro is, is the, is got 600 horsepower, more than any of us really need. But, you know, you solve all, horse, all problems with horsepower. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it is a Camaro, it is the Mustang. Um, these are cars you always see, you know, police driving around, and drive around Michigan. I saw more than a few other Chargers in my rear view. You know, you recognize them as being, as being police cars. Um, so, and that's a market that they're also very aware of, you know, that, that's, a, that's a market that makes money, selling to, you know, police companies. I mentioned the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Is that, that's the one on the, on the platform that comes from the Daimler? Chrysler, it does indeed. It does link indeed. up. Yeah. How's that doing? That's gotten good reviews. Again, this was a model that not so long ago I got in. The interior was just crappy. It wasn't a place you wanted to be. It's another great example of they've done. They've really refined it. It still does well off road. If you would ever choose to do that off road, most people don't. But um, it's got things like automatic uh, windshield wipers. You know, it senses moisture. Um, there's things that uh, variable uh, sort of variable headlights. These things that sense. The sense of uh, another car coming on and they will dim the lights. These are things that you use every day and that consumers really notice. And when they do cross shop something like a Mercedes, you know, they want, they want to find these things in American cars too. So Chrysler is now finally introducing that. And at a lower price point. And at a lower them. price point. Yeah, absolutely. So that makes a big difference. I want to thank you very much. I'll go for a drive with you anytime. Why wouldn't you? Jason Harper oh. joining us. Bloomberg News telling us about the latest lineup from Chrysler.